candidly about some things. Talking candidly with camera. Oh, we're gonna talk candidly, candidly about some things. Talking candidly with camera. Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to talk. La, 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 la. <laughs> Welcome to talking candidly with camera. I am Camera Brielle, and this is going to be a quick episode because I, my husband, gets is off of work now, but he's probably closing, and I don't know when he's going to be home. So you know, and I don't, and he ain't got no damn key. Anyway, we ain't talking about none of that, okay? Um, I actually wasn't going to do this episode today, but then that led me to my damn topic of today. Um, I want to talk about procrastination and how horrible it is for me, but I don't see that's the thing. I'm getting a little, a little, a little, you know, I'm having a little foggy brain because I don't know if I touched on positive thinking in my last episode and how I, I okay this one I'm gonna do this is gonna be a 30 minute episode so for the first 15 minutes I'm gonna talk about this and then for the next 15 minutes I'm gonna just I'm gonna just have it all together okay so I am a textbook procrastinator okay tour procrastinator my cat is in here laid the fuck out she is asleep is she asleep? Oh, yeah, she just breathed. I, you know, I thought she would, never mind. Anyway, so um, let's hope that the audio quality is better. Um, if it's not, then I'm gonna try to get me a new microphone, but not right now. Anyway, um, I'm a textbook procrastinator. I wait until the last minute to do things. And, um, that really fuels me to get things done when I have no other option, but to get things done. And I'm sick of that. Okay. I'm sick of it. Um, today wasn't a a great day as far as my emotional maturity. I'm sorry. I keep saying that, but it's just funny as hell to me. As far as my emotional journey that I'm on, it wasn't the best. I did feel like... Um, I was, uh, was slipping back into a mindset that I didn't want to be in, but I, 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 I realized that it is okay to have a little bit of a, not bad day, but a little bit of an uncertain day, as long as you don't let the uncertain day because become an uncertain week, you know, and then an uncertain month. And I was thinking about how I was awakened today by the sound of the maintenance man knocking on my damn door. And I was real irritated because it was 1145. And I'm like, I was supposed to wake up at 945. So I was mad about that. I was mad that my husband did not wake me up. I was mad that the cat was in the living room. I was mad that things weren't put up the way that I wanted them to be put up. And, you know, I had this like fleeting notion to text my husband and be like, why the fuck didn't you do this? And why the fuck didn't you do that? But I didn't. But I didn't. Um, I don't know. Today is October 2nd. I don't know if it's a full moon. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Okay. This, this a little sidebar. Why are people driving crazy? This lady had, because look, I'm going to tell you one thing. I got to water my cactus, not cactus, not cactus, aloe vera plant. Um, I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm a little bit, I, I'm not saying I got road rage, But that's why I don't drive for Uber and Lyft because I'll probably be cussing. And somebody will get scared and and say that I'm unsafe to drive with. So, you know, anyway, um, this lady going to sit up here and be driving next to me 
while it's cars parked because you're not supposed to be in that lane. And I'm speeding up because I'm like, I'll be damned. I'll be damned if I let you in. I'll be damned. Okay. No. No. So she got the nerve to look at me out her window. Like, bitch, whatever. And I, I, I mean, my window was up. So it was hers. So I don't know what we were, well, what she was trying to communicate to me. But I just, I felt annoyed the whole day. Um, I didn't have to go to any apartment buildings. I do Uber Eats. I didn't have to go to any apartment buildings. Um, I didn't have to do anything like that. But I did feel annoyed. You know, I felt annoyed by people's driving I felt annoyed by the speed of things and how I need well okay I think that I need to be in a certain place right now and I'm not in that place and it's annoying the fuck out of me and I feel like I'm rushing and racing to a place where you know, my therapist, I'm not going to tell you what she said, but basically, um, I probably said this in my last episode, but she was like, bro, you need to just like, you sit up here and you're in this position where you're doing better than you've done in the past. And you want to jump over the abyss into a space of what you think would be better than where you are and... If you don't succeed, then in your mind, you're back to square one. So why are you doing this? I don't know. I just, I just need to do it. Oh, my therapist told me not to say should. Feel like I, I've been saying should a lot today. Ooh, thank you. Anyway, um, so she told me that I was procrastinating because I was a perfectionist. And if I feel like the task is too big, then that makes me turned off to do it because it has to be in such a way. And I feel like, yes, but I also see, see, and that's the thing though. Like I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm like, I don't know. Okay. The procrastination is, it's a disease. It's a disease that has plagued me. And I don't want to get into a space where it's like, okay, girl, you you know, you don't, you don't need to procrastinate. So I don't procrastinate, but then I also don't have that thing that's pushing me. And I think I need to work on my work ethic. And I think I need to work on going to sleep at a better time and waking up at a better time. Because I haven't had a job in like five months. Okay. I've been doing Uber for like four months. And it's been a little bit of, it's been freedom. The freedom that like, even though I don't have a steady paycheck and even though like Uber can be slow and it's, I'm not where I want to be at all financially. It just feels good to not, I don't know. It just feels good to be in this space of like, I was so drained from working and it's, this is still a customer service job, but it's only a customer service job for two seconds. Go in the restaurant, get the food, go to the person's house. I ain't got time for all that bullshit. Okay. You know, the first time I was all young and, and okay, now I'm going to call your ass and be like, bro, you are downtown on a Tuesday afternoon. Do you think I'm going to park my damn car and come up to you? No. Can you come outside? Thanks. Dumbass. Anyway, sorry. Sorry. But what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I've just gotten very comfortable in being here and being able to, I guess, make my own schedule and do things on my own time. And I'm still in school and I'm still is it's a weird feeling because I don't feel as though I'm progressing, but I'm literally progressing. Like one of my classes is almost done. My other class is about to start. 
I'm literally progressing. I'm getting good grades on my assignments. Yeah, they they may come in at a day before the deadline, but I'm getting my assignments done and I'm doing things and I'm still feeling in a place that I'm not doing everything that I want. Of course, I want my YouTube to take off more. Of course, I want my jewelry to sell more. Of course, I want my music that I haven't copyrighted be, and I got this song that I want to release, but I can't release it because it ain't copyrighted. And you know, these things, I want them, I want to stretch it out. And I feel like it's not procrastination. It is procrastination, but it's also a work ethic. And I'm not saying that I don't have a work ethic because but this is me being the queen of procrastination, not the queen of moderation. That title is already taken. The queen of procrastination. It's just like I had to study for my medical terminology exam and I had to get a good grade. There were no if, ands, or buts about it. So all of the slacking that I did, it, 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 there was no other option. Okay. I, I feel like I'm talking in circles. What I'm saying is the procrastination is putting me in a space of negativity that I don't feel is 100% warranted. I have been in a good space mentally. And it may be because it's October and uh, October is the month that everything happened with my mother and it'll be two years and I'm just not, you know, really feeling all of this. And I don't know if it's that. I don't know if it's because every fucking where I turn, there's always, it's always uh, a trigger, basically. It's a trigger of... I was listening to a podcast today, right? By somebody, well, by some, by a comedian that I really love and then someone else that is in the podcast with them. And I, they were talking about a lot of things. They were talking about finances and then they were talking about family. Two places that I'm struggling in. Family, just because, you know, of my mother. And the cold podcaster was like, oh yeah, my mother's not going to die. She's 54. She's young. And that pissed me off because my mother was literally, literally 54 and she's dead. And you know, I just, I, I just feel like it's hard to be positive when there are real life things. My therapist said to me, like, okay, yeah, you can sit here and you can say that things are going to be good this day, but you have had real world experience that things sometimes aren't good that day. You have had a real world experience where you thought everything, you thought it was going to be a normal ass day and then your whole life has been turned upside down. So I really sometimes do I feel like I have had to realize that positivity is not the way for me. And I'm not saying I'm a negative Nancy. I'm more like a, a neutral, a neutral Naomi. Okay. Call me neutral Naomi from now on because I'm not in a space of pessimism, but I'm not in a space of optimism. I'm more, I, yeah, I am a pessimistic person and I got a dark sense of humor and I can, who asked my husband, he'd be like, oh, no. But I think I was reaching or I was trying to obtain something that physically is not possible for me. It's not possible. Well, it's not. It's not. I'm not set up to be a positive poly. Okay. I'm not. I'm set up to be a neutral Naomi. Okay, and I, I'm set up to understand that sometimes things will happen. Okay, I went through a freaking, when I first started doing Uber, I had 
car trouble after car trouble after car trouble, which drained my fucking wallet. God, like it was so bad. The amount of money that I was spending on this car and the, the, the positivity of like, okay, everything's going to be good today. And now my tie, my car, my, my wheel is shaking because my freaking spark plug is fucked up. Like, There are real things that can happen. And I think I am not the type of person to look at things and say, oh, everything's going to work out. When when we were on our way to the hospital to, to see my mother, because we didn't know, um, to see my mother, there was a, 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 a thought that came into my head, like she could not be here. And it wasn't a thought that, it wasn't a thought that was like, okay, get into this mind frame. It was a thought of what if she isn't here? And I think that's the type of person I am. I don't want to, I, I feel like I would have been in a, in a much worse space if I had been positive and positive and positive and then I was met with bullshit. I don't think that that would have, I think that would have hurt me more. But the fact that like, and I don't want to talk about my mama, but the fact that like, I recognize the signs. I recognize the little room. I recognize us not being taken directly to my mother. I recognize things like that. And I told my husband, my mother's not alive. And of course it was hard to hear it, but that is better for me to handle than the positivity. And I think the procrastination comes in Because of the, this, I'm still struggling with like the overt positivity. Like, okay, yeah, everything's going to be great. Everything's going to be wonderful. And then things aren't great and things aren't wonderful. And now I feel like the law of attraction is crap. But it's not. It's not. Um... I was reading a book and then I, well, I wouldn't read nothing. I was listening to a book in the car. Then I stopped listening to it. I think I need to start listening to it. But it was something about like when being positive doesn't, when being positive isn't enough. Hold on. I want to, I want to actually, the antidote, happiness for, for people who can't stand positive thinking. And I'm only on chapter three. So I haven't gone through the whole thing, but it's. Is just finding a a balance. And I think, like my therapist said, if you're so focused on being one way and not another way, then you're going to become more of the way that you don't want to be. Because you're so desperately like trying to not be like that and trying to not be that person and trying not to have whatever that you're going through happen that you do end up letting it consume you because... If you try not to think about something that's still thinking about it. So it's like, you have to just, me, I'm talking about me. I have to find a balance. Find a balance and also deal with my childhood trauma. Yeah. But no, seriously, find a balance. Understand the things that have propelled me to be a certain type of way and then really look at myself and look at the person that I want to be. Not this, like, lady, you know who the hell you are. Like, it's obtainable for me to want to improve my singing voice. Why? Because I can sing, okay? I can't sit up here and learn how to draw. I can't pick up what my husband is doing and be like, okay, I'm going to draw. I can't draw SpongeBob. 
I might, I maybe can draw SpongeBob. No, uh, maybe. Who knows? I, who knows? But you know, it was, it was a lot of things that I know are in my range to learn. And I think those are the things that I need to focus on. Not something like learning Beyonce's choreography for Homecoming. Girl, you know GD well. You can't learn that damn choreography. Okay? You know it. You know it. But what can you do? You can learn the run that she sang while she was doing the choreography. That's what you can learn. And that don't make you... that. That's fine. That's That's... Going, uh, focusing in on your strengths and building them up. And I think that that is the best thing for me. And one of my strengths is not positivity. Okay. My strength is real world thinking. And not letting... There's a, there's a difference between like dark humor and like, what is it? Sadistic. What is the humor when you make fun of yourself? Uh, self-deprecation. I don't want to be a self-deprecating lady anymore. Cause you know, I could be real like, ha but I don't want to do that. I want to say something to freak my husband out, but not have it be something that I'm tearing myself down with. Like, Oh, look, I'm ugly. Like, no, no, chill out, chill out. Uh-uh, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing all that. And I think that once I'm able, and this is a journey, once I'm able to stop putting so much pressure on expectations that with it themselves are not feasible right now. It it's a blessing that I'm even able to I'm making a podcast right now and I know somebody's gonna listen to this. Like even if it's one person listening to it, that's one fucking person that's listening to something that you have to say. And I don't understand why 50 people, 50,000 people, or one person. Why is that any different when the goal is not really exposure? But when the goal is to be you and to be this. And to build up a brand that is 100% you. Why? There shouldn't be any comparison. But there should be accountability. And I think that's what I'm lacking. Oh, I feel like I'm having a therapy session with my whole self. I'm sorry, y'all. But anyway, that's what it is. It's accountability. I, you cannot look at anybody's success and say, oh, I wish I had that. Because people have bought my jewelry, okay? Do you, like, that's something that I did not fathom. People who I don't know, not my mama, I'm sorry, not my, my auntie, not my grandmother, not my cousin. My husband bought some jewelry. And then just said, just take the damn stuff. And I was like, okay, thanks. This is rec- this is recouping my money and keeping my product. It's amazing. Um, people who don't know me. People who have seen me through a TV, not a TV, through a darn computer screen. They've bought my jewelry. Something that I, when I started the Etsy and, and, and I, I was making that jewelry that was kind of ugly that I kind of wouldn't probably buy if I, I compared it to the new stuff that I was making. You probably wouldn't buy my old stuff, but it's all about growth. So that's fine. But people have bought my jewelry, something that I couldn't fathom. When I was 2018, I've had this shop for a minute. 
And it was like, people aren't buying my things. But now people are buying my things. So even though the progress isn't as bloop, what is this? Bloop as skyrocketing as as I wanted, there is progress. And I think in order for me to not get into a pessimistic mindset, that's where the procrastination needs to stop and the work ethic needs to come in. Because I shouldn't have been so angry about waking up so late and I still should have done some schoolwork. But I have like this schedule and I just was all out of sorts. And that's where the accountability needs to come in. I don't need to stay up until three o'clock. I need to stay up until 2.30. And I need to wake up. Damn, I gotta wake up at like 8 tomorrow. I need to go to sleep at 2. 1. 2. And I need to wake up at 8.30 tomorrow. And that's what I gotta do. Because I have to do it. Because I have a meeting tomorrow. But like, I literally have to do that. But I need for the threat of uh, just not being a professional or not being a good student or not, you know, whatever, whatever it is. I need for that threat to go away and just the accountability to stay. So we almost had 30 minutes, but I, I feel like I was talking in circles. I really don't know if anybody will understand what I'm saying. But I feel like I, I just, I, d- 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 am I really, are we talking? I feel like we are talking candidly and this is, I'm, I, I am camera. Like, look, something, I didn't think that I would be able to have a podcast. And even though it was not this podcast, the other podcast that's coming back soon. I know I say that all the time, but it's literally coming back soon. There is no need for me not to start the Awkwardly Acceptable podcast up again. And these are things that I have to be accountable to myself. I'm in this creative mold, not musically, but uh, jewelry. I don't, uh, I don't know how to I don't know, jewelry wise where I'm making, I'm making stuff and I'm, I'm thinking about ideas and I didn't, pack of tans gone y'all, pack of tans is damn gone. So now I'm paying not full price. I ain't paid full price for nothing in a minute, but I'm paying kind of full price for kind of full price for Some things that I was paying like two, three dollars for. Oh my gosh, there is someone outside in their car and they are playing music. And I'm trying to talk over the music because I don't want to get any copyright. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, look at me, look at you, baby. This what we doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ah, 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 now, I know y'all said, why the fuck didn't you just close the window? Because it's hot. And I never, damn. I never in my life, I never sent this email to this person. Okay, look, y'all. I think that the accountability is lacking. And the only person that can hold me accountable is myself. And that starts with not being so hard on myself. And that's where not the positivity comes in, but the non-negativity, the neutral Naomi comes in. Where just because a day, just because I've woken up two fucking hours late does not, does not mean that the whole day is ruined. Just because I went to sleep at four o'clock last night gd don't mean that next tonight i'm not gonna go to bed at two um my group is texting me hold on please y'all 
I'm back. I don't know what I was saying, but I'm gonna get off of here because I apparently haven't eaten since uh one o'clock this morning. Oh, not this morning, Jesus, this afternoon. And that's something that I have been doing. I have been um making meals, not eating out. And I, I'm 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 just it's like it's okay to be happy with the progress that you're making. And I think that's my biggest thing. I often feel like if I'm not at the peak of what I need to be, then I'm not it's it's all it's all like whatever. But I, I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay with where I am and it is solely up to me if I stay stagnant, de- decline, or increase. And that all, in my my case, has to do with procrastination and positivity or lack of positivity and more neutral, neutral, neutral tones, neutral Naomi, okay? Y'all, I might become a minimalist while we talking. You know what? One thing I'm not gonna do is focus on another task. But maybe I wanna become a minimalist. Anyway, I'm done. I've, I've talked for my 31 minutes. Gotta do what I need to do. Gotta get this out to y'all. So thank you all so much for listening to Talking Candidly with Camera. I am Camera. If you all like this, please let me know. Um, if you liked the intro and you want to hear it again, please let me know. I do have two more intros that I'm going to do until we we have a vote and then I'm gonna do some more intros after that but of the four intros that I do uh the the four sets of intros that I do we gonna have four main intros that we that we uh bounce back and forth but you know honestly we may not you know what but tell me how you how you like this intro tell me if you all struggle with anything as far as like <sighs> positivity, procrastination, pessim- pes- 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 pessimism, pes- pessimism, 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 y'all anyway, I'm done. Cause I, apparently I can't talk anymore. Uh, I, you know what? Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Um, tell everybody you know about this just tell them all just tell everybody okay and i'm out of here so bye